In our rush to get from this place to that, it's good to know that there are spots in Oregon where you can slow down and take a deep breath and savor the experience of travel. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways. And this week, it's a whistle stop tour for waterfalls and wildlife. Come on along as we explore Highway 202, Astoria's backdoor byway. Little trails often lead to big discoveries. Yeah, I've been here a few times. Not since this is new, though. Moments when a camera comes in handy. It's got a nice flow coming down it. For Steve Terrell, it's the little pieces that make the big picture better at Lee Wooden County Park. Fall is definitely my favorite time of year because all the beautiful colors out, from reds to yellows, oranges, even the greens, they're all beautiful. Where Fishhawk Falls races across ancient basalt and I'm capturing what nature put out in front of me. That's all I'm doing. You open your eyes up and look at different things to view when you're out in nature. Out here is State Highway 202, what Terrell calls Astoria's backdoor byway. It's nice, peaceful back roads, and there's a lot of beautiful scenery to see down here. There really is. Just down the road, really big elk lounge across the grassy meadows of the Jewel Wildlife Area. It's nice if you can get an overcast day like this. It's not so harsh the lighting with the shadows and stuff. Terrell scans the scene. This is where it's called patience. Searches for movement. There's two out there, right there, right there, right there. And finds the life in the landscape. Here they're going right there. See them? These are large animals out there. And it's really interesting just to see something like this. It's interesting to see one of Oregon's premier landscape photographers, who's been at it for more than three decades and still going strong, at work along a favored haunt that anyone can visit, and to see how a simple tripod and cable release are a must. Just for vibration, just to be on the safe side. That's how I shoot. Does he ever want proof? It is year nine for Steve Terrell's All Oregon Calendar. His annual project pays homage to his home state, shot entirely in Oregon by the native son who has it printed here too. Scenes like this grew out of unending passion for Oregon. It's shot from Ecola State Park, late evening, has just some unbelievable fog and colors through there. Absolutely makes you want to be there. It's just dramatic. A half hour down the byway, Terrell shows off one of his absolute favorites, Young's River Falls. There's just that little band of water that's coming down, and then it just fans out. It's just a beautiful looking waterfall. Peer into the shallows just below. Modeled black and gray, 30 pound salmon have muscled their way back to Young's River home water. It's their birthplace, and now they continue their cycle of life. The byway unwinds at Young's Bay in Astoria, and Terrell finds it all terrific and wonderful that so much beauty is so close to so many people. If you only take time to look in my heart, I really love to capture images, and I like to share them with people, and I'm blessed that I can make a living doing it. That's really nice. Doesn't look bad. State Highway 202, Astoria's backdoor byway, is really a remarkable experience and sets Oregon apart in so many ways, just like Steve Terrell's photography. We have all the details, directions, and the contact information so you can make your own outdoor adventure right here on the Travel Oregon website, so check it out. Until next week, get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors and let Travel Oregon be your guide. Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.